This is a block, Walnut Street, that I've never seen open. I've never seen these historic buildings open. Um, Bishop White, who was like the pastor for the Founding Fathers in that Christ Church, uh, which is a few blocks from here. He lived here, this is Bishop White's house. Dolly Madison, who uh, was married to President James Madison. She lived here. Look at that old building across the street. You got a brownstone, old school Greek revival. And then this is the Polish American Cultural Center um, Museum. Not a, it's just one big room. You can go in there. They got a radio station in there. This is Bishop White's house. Pretty cool. Not sure what this is. Not sure what this is. I don't think this is really how they had the houses built with the handicap ramps. Old Joseph's Roman Catholic Church. The earliest foundations of Catholicism in Pennsylvania, right there. 18th century garden. Don't mind if I do. This was built in around 1976. Uh, Lady Bird Johnson. Was it Lady Bird Johnson? No, who's Gerald Ford's? Oh, shit. What was her name? Um, Gerald Ford. No, no, I think it was Lady Bird. Uh, uh, damn it. Oh, Gerald Ford. No. No, I'm thinking Lady Bird Johnson. One of the first ladies came here when this garden opened. And they, like, cut the ribbon. Oh, yeah. Here in this lovely garden. Oh, yeah, there it is. Lind Lyndon Lady Bird Johnson. Six, 1966 she was here. That's uh, right directly ahead of me is um, Carpenter's Hall. The First Continental Congress. They met in that building. Ben Franklin met with a French spy on the second floor in the library. The first bank robbery in America happened there. The first library happened there. The first money ever used for the first bank of the United States was stored there. So, I mean, that's a lot of the first of everything that happened in America happened in Carpenter's Hall. Um, that's a real, and I'll give you a clue. If you come to Philadelphia, you want to buy some touristy shit, like, uh, I don't know, like knickknacks, like trifold hats and all that old time shit, you can um, uh, buy it at Carpenter's Hall. It's the cheapest place. It's also uh, not run by the government, so it goes to a charitable organization that's keeping that building going. These are called Franklin lights. These were put in in uh, 1976. No, 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 no. These were put in in the 50s and 60s. I'm sorry. Uh, as you can tell, they're falling apart. The, oh, I've never been in here. This is a colonial garden. Um, this house here is where Dolly Madison lived. So this is how if you had a house, you would have your backyard set up like this. And if you see, it's a lot of space for vegetation. You got a, I don't know, a trough for a pig. I don't know. And then right here. And then Dolly Madison, she lost her husband and her son on the same uh, week. They both died of the yellow fever. Oh. Dolly Madison. Um, so her husband died. Then she meets James Madison. And uh, she becomes the first lady. I think James Madison was the fourth president of the United States. He lived on Pine Street, two blocks that way. Uh, but I, my favorite thing about Dolly Madison is she invented putting peach flavoring in ice cream. So she was like the... I don't know the inventor, but she peach flavoring and ice cream has a lot to do with Dolly Madison. They used to have Dolly Madison ice cream. I don't know if they still do. 
But that's why it was called Dolly Madison ice cream because she sort of kind of invented some kind of type of uh, ice cream. My daughter Jules, she wrote a, uh, she was really into the founding fathers. I guess she kind of sparked my interest in Philadelphia history because she wanted to go see James Madison house. And uh, so we went to James Madison's house and she then she she dropped that ice cream fact about Dolly Madison and I was like, What? And then I found out like all types of food and shit was not shit, but food uh started here in Philly. There he is, Robert Morris. Patriots, statesman, financier. What they don't tell you, slave trader. Uh oh. So this is his statue. And then this is what he really looked like. Here's the secretaries of the Navy's office. Look at this. Is, this is the Pentagon right here. You got the Pentagon. There's the Navy. I think the Army is here. Uh, back in March of 2019, I quit my job. And I wanted to become a tour guide. So for a month, there's Surgeon's Hall. Uh, so for a month, I uh, I followed this tour company around. I did their I followed their tours and stuff, and I I, I just I, I really wanted to be a tour guide. I love showing off the city. I uh, it, and like like I I find stuff interesting that you know I don't know it doesn't matter. So so I do this tour thing for about a month. And I have a tour of my family and friends, and believe it or not, it went fantastic. Everybody had a great time. Everybody learned. Everybody had fun. But the tour company didn't hire me because I was too Philadelphian, believe it or not. There's Independence Hall. They said I, uh, the guys they want doing the tours are like history professors and shit like that. And they said like I, uh, I didn't have a good presentation and I was too much of the everyman. There ain't nobody at Independence Hall today. There is the American Philosophical Society. Let me get, come on, Ben Franklin, let me get you in that toga. There he is. That is Ben Franklin wearing a toga. Uh, the American Philosophical Society is a society of people, like real smart people, and they get together trying to solve the world's problems. Uh, if you go inside this building, uh, the journals of uh, Lewis and Clark are in here. Uh, the first pictures of the moon taken from space, <laughs> like the guys on the moon, their pictures are in here. There's all kinds of weird stuff in there. Uh, but that statue of Ben Franklin is Ben Franklin wearing a toga. Again, a, a nod to Greek democracy. He has his arm leaning on a pile of books. And that's because the free library, or the library system, started in that building, the American Philosophical Society. So he wanted every person to read a book, not just the rich and wealthy. And if you see, he has the scepter of the king, and he has it turned down. Uh-oh. Thumbs down to the king. That's what he's saying. That's a badass statue. Uh, and this is the American Philosophical Society Museum. Uh, they had a... a, a uh, a beautiful display of maps a few right before the pandemic and they had maps and stuff from Lewis and Clark uh, now they have a Ben Franklin they they, they do uh, free lectures at the American Philosophical Society so like I just sign up for stuff when I'm bored like I usually do it in the winter I just sign up for everything and I'll, I'll go to anything just so I get out of the house but because of this, you know, the pandemic, not everything's open. The museums in Philadelphia are only open on the weekends, a lot of them. Some of them are open all week, but like the art museum. So it's like, I can't really do shit during the week. It, it, uh, it doesn't matter. So that's the first city hall of Philadelphia. But it's also where the uh, Supreme Court met. Where, uh, when the Supreme Court was in Philadelphia, that was the Supreme Court. There's Independence Hall, the room where it happened, Declaration of Independence, all that fun stuff happened here. It was originally the state capitol. It was called the State House. 
Um, I think it was built in around the 1750s. Um, so this was like the state capital. Now, the First Continental Congress met at Carpenter's Hall back a few blocks away. And then when they met here for the se Second Continental Congress, this is when shit got real, real. And, uh, yeah, that's... That room right there is where they signed it. Uh, the first, uh, the Senate and the Congress met there. That was the upper house was the Senate. The lower house was the Congress. Uh, that's steeple. We're going to go up and say hi to Liberty Bell. Well, listen, I hope you love this tour as much as I loved giving it. Because I fucking love talking about the history of this city. I'm sorry I'm cursing. I'm just excited. Uh... If you like this video, do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up, and while you're at it, hit subscribe. Don't forget to check out my merch. My merch, it's fire. Oh, look at this. How dare you be sitting in presence of the Liberty Bell. Welcome to the Liberty Bell. For over 250 years, this bell has been linked to important events in American history.